to school week continues in Lahaina. Today was the first day back for Lahaina Intermediate School students. Our Chelsea Davis joins us live outside the campus to tell us more. Chelsea. Yes, Steph, mixed reactions from community members today. Some parents and students are very excited to be back, but some teachers tell me they're still not ready yet. Now, media is not allowed access, but Department of Education officials shot this video of students' first day back today. DOE officials said faculty and staff cheered and waved signs as they welcomed approximately 400 students to their home campus for the first time this school year and for the first time since the August wildfires. The school principal recognized her staff members for their resilience. I have the most amazing staff, I, I swear, on Maui County. And they have been so resilient. And we have about 19 staff members that lost everything. And so they have been persevered through all of this. And their first love is to their school and to our keiki. And uh, they are going to rock it today. I'm excited. What happens when the wind switches? What happens, you know, when they start cleaning up and disturbing all of the ash and it comes, starts blowing up the hill, you know, in the afternoon onshore sea breezes from the ocean come up, that's going to affect us or me. Jonathan Silva was the school counselor at King Kamehameha III Elementary School for 13 years. That school was destroyed in the fire. So he was supposed to relocate to Princess Nahi Anana Elementary School, but says he and others haven't returned because they don't trust that the air, water, and soil are truly clean. DOE officials said they have done extensive testing and said all tests have come back safe. Now, tomorrow is the first day back for Princess Nahi Anana Elementary School students, and the students at King Kamehameha III Elementary School will be joining them there until a temporary school site will be set up at the Kahului Airport, at the Kapalua Airport, excuse me. Reporting live in Lahaina, I'm Chelsea Davis for Hawaii News Now.